Hello everyone, I am Astros11, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Last time we left off as we took on the Great Deku Tree, and that was our very first temple in the game. And I thank you guys for getting me to 100 subscribers, but let's head through this path and well, like cutscene shall commence. But yeah, we can wait the first temple and everybody to move on. Oh, you're leaving. Yeah, we're leaving, but... Let's go ahead and see what story that say. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link, because you're different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I mean, sure. I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. All right, and just like that, yes. We're gonna get ourselves an ocarina. And yeah, hence literally the name of this game being Ocarina of Time. Well, we received the Fairy Ocarina, a memento from Saria, Now we can use various notes to play it. But when you play my Ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. And I don't know why, but Link all of a sudden gets freaked out by this. I don't know why, but he just does get freaked out by Saria saying that. I literally don't understand why, but... Either way, let's go ahead and head off on our journey here in... Hyrule Field, yes. The grand grass and just area of Hyrule Field. In my opinion, I like to think of Hyrule Field as a giant loading screen of the game. Because, yeah, I mean, it's vast and everything, but it holds, like, nothing to explore and whatnot. But if we look up, yes, an owl. An owl is up there. All right, well, let's see what this owl wants with us. Hoo hoo, to Link, look up here. It appears time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. If you go straight this way, you will see Hyrule Castle. You'll meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you've explored will be shown on the map. Tap down the lower screen to open the map subscreen. If you don't know where to go next, try heading to one of the locations marked with the flashing dot. Did you get all of that? Yeah, I did. And if he did say no or something, he'd just repeat what he said. And he would literally just repeat it. So you don't want to say that. And his dialogue does change. So you don't always want to give the same answer to every single thing he says. But what I'm going to do is move really quickly off to Hyrule Castle. Because that's what we want to do. As yeah, we need to head off to Hyrule Castle. Because yeah, that is our main objective right now. And that is what we want to do right now. Because yeah, we got to go see the princess. We got stuff to do, so yeah, I'm really hoping that we can somehow make it before it turns night, please. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it before nighttime hits, guys. I don't think we're gonna make it before nighttime hits. But come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we made it. Perfect. We made it before nighttime hit, and that's just a strategy I use a lot in this game. So let's actually go ahead and head into here. Because if we do, then we can destroy a bunch of pots. Yeah, it's heaven for Link right now. <laughs> right now, it's literally heaven for Link. But if we hit this box, and yes. Another gold skulltula shall be ours. And yeah, it's pretty sweet being in here. Because yeah, it's literally just pot heaven for Link right now. It's literally pot heaven. But let's go and see what we can do in here and i guess just literally breaking boxes and pods and getting rupees so it's nothing too special or out of the ordinary for us and yeah there's really nothing else to do in here just cool skulls i felt like getting because i want to just get it kind of get it out of the way and yeah just continue towards our 100 gold skulls of a collection because yeah well, 100 gold skulls was so, so many to collect. And of course, there's so many areas I would love to show off, but what I want to do right now is head off to the castle and just continue on with the game story. Because yes, I know there's side quests and things I could be doing. Yes, this is Hyrule Castle. Yes, I know there's side quests and other things I could be doing right now. And trust me, I do want to complete more side quests throughout the game. But I'm going to save them for a bit later on. But hey, link this way. The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. I'm not going to listen to you. No, I don't want to hear what you said again. I'm talking really fast, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm talking fast because I am just ignoring this guy. I'm literally just ignoring him. I don't care what you have to say, Gabora, Gabora. 
I don't care. You are just a salty owl who has no friends, who no one likes. And yeah, I know, I was getting a bit dark there, but you know what? I could care less. You know, I could go for 80 rupees, but I don't care to go for 80 rupees right now. I really just do not care right now. I could care less. But, if we make our way around here, then, well, what we, what we want to do is get caught. Literally, it might seem odd. Why would you want to get caught right off the bat? But, trust me. This is what you want to do. Right off the bat, you want to get caught at Hyrule Castle. When you're trying to head inside, you want to get caught because, yes, as you can tell, there's new singing that we did not hear before. Well, this, my friends, is Malon from the ranch known as Lon Lon Ranch. Hey, your clothes, they're different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fair boy from the forest. My name is Malon. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. Huh, that's... <laughs> that's what happens to everyone's dad when you go get the milk. You just don't come. Okay, I'm not going to continue with that joke because that's actually a really bad joke. So I'm just not going to continue with that because I was about to head down a very dark path. But are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Oh yeah, if you look for him, blah, blah, blah. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. And just like that, we get ourselves a weird egg. Now we can equip it right here on the touch screen bar and that's what you want to do because we need to do something with this egg you might be wondering what do we need to do with the freaking egg yeah a weird egg what do we need to do well what we need to do is bring it to her father because we want to deliver some milk right and look at that the cuckoo already hatched from said egg but yeah the guards are so stupid and so blind literally the guards are so dumb they're so blind they can't see for crap and yeah, it just, just, wow, just wow. Yeah, it will seem on what now, like for real guards, like for real, you can't see me when we're literally that close. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm gonna kind of blame Zelda and the king for that, like for real. You're gonna hire guards that are gonna do a crappy job at, like, protecting the castle, make sure no one enters without them noticing. And yeah, they can't even see me easily walk by them like that, like, bruh, what kind of guards are you? But what you want to do is show this chicken to Talon by targeting on him, then just pressing the item, but let's go and speak to him. Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Melon was looking for me. I'm going to catch from her now. I must stop bad, leaving Melon behind away from me. She's really going to let me have it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't right now, guys. I just, I can't. Yes, I know. I, that was a really bad Mario accent. I I tried to do a Mario accent there. Don't blame me for that, alright? Just don't. Don't blame me for that. Y'all would have tried the same. I'm sure some of you could could have done a far better job than me right there. But you know what? I don't care. I really just don't care right now, alright? Just leave me alone about it. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I don't care about the bad Mario accent. But, yeah, that was a really poor Mario accent, I will say. That was... That was just pretty bad, but what you want to do here is just pull these blocks, I guess these wooden crates, I guess, with cows on them, and I guess this was the milk he was trying to deliver and so horribly failed at, and plus now we're using them because we need to make way to the princess, because the great tech tree told us to make way to her castle and see the princess that is here, because we got quests and stuff to do and well here we are in the castle courtyard and i hit the wall wow how embarrassing what you want to do is just make your way around these guards make sure they don't notice you because if they do then you'll have to restart from the very beginning of this whole thing and yeah, generally what you want to do is yeah just completely ignore the guards here and yeah just really make sure they don't notice you and this is a bit, a bit of a different path than i normally take whenever i do a playthrough on ocarina of time on my 3ds I normally take a bit of a different path where I slowly wait for the guards to go by and I slowly wait for them to group up or just go away so I have a clear path to go past them so I don't get caught, but yeah, we just want to be a bit careful here because these guards are not the most friendly. Okay, at least they're walking slow as crap, just wow. Talk about you slow pokes, my god, nope. Nope. Haha. <laughs> yep, we made it past nice and easy, and well, 
here we are in the castle courtyard yes this area pretty interesting in my opinion i mean not i mean a very small area but i just love how place sells low by three here and yes if you take a close look at the windows here then yes you'll notice yeah literally super mario bros levels here it's very neat i love how it shows that in the original ocarina of time on n64 it was a bit different but hey don't cause any trouble and well the guard trucks have bomb at us what the frick what the are you serious yeah we're a little kid and we just we shoot the window just because we're being a kid a stupid kid and he throws a bomb at us, like, bro, for real, you know that could have killed any normal human being, right? But of course, we're Link, we're just built differently, but, like, he could have killed us. He chuck he chucked a bomb out the freaking window because we decided to shoot a slingshot bullet at it. Whatever, but let's talk to the princess here, who we were supposed to in the first place. Well, what? Who? Who are you? How'd you get past the guards? Uh, funny story about that. Oh, what's that? Is that a fairy? Then are you are you the one from the forest? Then then you wouldn't happen to have the spirit of stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone. Do you have it? Yeah, we do. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I knew this was a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, and I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Uh, Link. Link. Strange, you sound somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Alright. The legend goes like this. And what I find really neat about this is, yeah, what she says there, keep the secret from everyone, is literally a reference to Zelda 1. The very first Zelda game in the franchise, it's literally a reference to that. Please keep the secret from everyone, you get a bunch of rupees, but the three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been foretold. So the ancient sages built a temple of time to protect the travelers from evil ones. That's right, the temple of time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is still to the stone wall called the Door of Time, and in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. Another thing you need is a treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend, the Ocarina of Time. And yes, the main item of the game, literally the name of the game. But did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Sure. I mean, I don't like to look at strangers, but okay, princess. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudo. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Are you so sure, Zelda? What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry, he doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet! Yes, I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy, but I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it, and he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Alright, thank you. I, I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. And just like that, we got Zelda's letter. And, well... Yeah, just like the other place, the cookie that we originally had, and there's someone here. Let's go and see who this is.
And believe it or not, this is Zelda's attendant, Impa. Someone who will be pretty key later on. I am Impa of the Sheikah. I am responsible for, for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody. I've played the song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Memorize this song. And this is Zelda's lullaby. A song that becomes, well, very significant in the game and one that we use a lot throughout the game. So be prepared. And just like that, there you go. We have learned Zelda's lullaby on the fairy ocarina. You've learned Zelda's lullaby. Yeah, I learned just what I said. If the castle soldiers find you, there'll be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. All right, Impa, let's go and head out and see what we gotta do. And yes, now here we are back outside in Hyrule Field, ready to continue our grand journey. Yeah, this is going to be really exciting, guys. I'm actually really pumped for this. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold a spiritual stone of fire. Alright, that is our next spiritual stone that we must head to. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Alright, just like the Impa will use Dekuna and literally disappear from sight. But, yeah, this is a bit longer side of videos for the series. But, yeah, a whole bunch of story was dumped on us. I am so excited to see what lies up ahead. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this one on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. I'll see you all next time as we continue onwards and continue on our journey and make our way up to Death Mountain and begin making our way to where the next spiritual stone lies, the spiritual stone of fire. I am so pumped to see what lies up ahead in our journey. And yeah, this didn't contain much. We did a bit of story in Journey Midway to Hyrule Castle, Saw Princess Zelda. We didn't do too much, but these episodes... Trust me, they're going to be jam-packed in the future with a bunch of content. Either way, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one as we continue on. and see what lies up ahead as we continue on with this playthrough. I really hope you all have been enjoying it. I've seriously been enjoying it, and I've been playing other Zelda games on the side of my own time. I like to the past. I recently went back to, but either way, I hope you all enjoy. And again, check out my Q&A video. Ask me any questions under that video in the comment section, and I'll answer them in a future video. I'll see you all in the next one on Ocarina Time 3D. Peace.